friends what's up welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is selena so this vlog is going to be a little bit different than my usual vlogs i just haven't made like a health vlog in a while but i do want to start just tracking my journey getting back into running so if you're new here and if you did not know in high school i did cross country and then in college i continued running long distance just like on my own and then I had a knee injury and it's just kind of been like recurring and it got me to the point where I was honestly just afraid to go for a run in fear that I would re-injure it. And after that, I just kind of haven't really been able to get back into running. Also just being consistent with running has honestly been one of my biggest struggles throughout my entire fitness journey. But I have come to realize that running is one of those things that's just like therapeutic to me and just makes me feel so much better once I get it done. So I really, really, really want to get back into running. Anyway, that's just my introduction as to, you know, my background with running and all of that. But it's been a long time and they do say that if you have pretty much taken like a three plus month break from running consistently then it's like you're back at square one and you kind of just have to restart so this is the perfect time for me to start sharing my journey with you guys in case there's any of you who are just like interested in starting running or restarting your running journey then you can join me on this journey okay with all of that said so today is sunday it is currently 10 34 p.m and i am going to prepare to go for my long run quote unquote so the last few weeks i started going for daily walks which is honestly what i recommend for anyone who wants to start running just start going for daily walks once you can walk like 45 minutes to an hour and you don't feel like any aches and pains especially if you have any previous injuries then you're pretty much ready to start like jogging and running so for the last couple of weeks i've gone on a few run walks just like two to three per week so i am nowhere near ready to do an actually like long run but you know you're Long runs, it's subjective, right? Like for a long distance runner who's been very consistent in their running, a long run could be like 10 miles. But for someone like me who's restarting or starting their running journey for the first time, your long run could be one mile, which is probably what I'm gonna shoot for today, even though it is like 95 degrees. So we will see. All I know is when you go for a run, listen to your body, don't force yourself too much because that's how I've injured myself in the past. So today I think I'm gonna shoot for, I'm gonna try to run one mile and the goal today is just going to be to go as slow as necessary but to continue running like continue my cadence and my pace so that my body can kind of get used to the stresses of just continuously running for that whole mile and then I'll probably just walk after to try to aim for like two miles total. So because it is going to be so freaking hot outside today, I am going to put on some sunblock. Honestly, I recommend just putting sunblock on every single day regardless, but I'm using this sheer spray one from Neutrogena because it's honestly amazing and this works great if you're going to sweat or if you're going to get in the water. So I'm going to put this on. I already put sunblock on my face. I use this Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I'll just put a screenshot of it on because this one is like covered in makeup when it was in my makeup bag. Per usual, I will link everything that I use down below. So if you guys wanna get any of this or check it out, it'll be linked below. quick I wanted to show you guys so this is a pre-workout that I used this morning I already had it like 10 minutes ago so it's already starting to kick which is great I'm feeling amazing I'm gonna take a water bottle obviously because it's like really freaking hot outside so you always want to make sure that you're staying hydrated because I definitely have had times where I'm cramping up during a run I will say one of the most important things for running <laughs> is preparation and I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I did not prepare well. I know from my history with running that if you don't have a good night's sleep, 
if you don't drink enough water the day before, have enough carbs the day before, are eating you know a pretty balanced meal, even if you're eating you know junk food, at least in moderation, you will have a terrible run. <laughs> and I will say that I did have Taco Bell last night. I also had a glass of wine, which is not great for my hydration. Probably didn't drink enough water because that's one of the things that I struggle with. And yet here I am going for a run in 90 degree weather. So that is all to say, it's probably not gonna be my best run, but that's okay because not every run needs to be your best run. And I'll probably learn after today the hard way that I need to prepare for a run better. Anyway, so I'm gonna take my morning medications. So you want to make sure that when you're going to run, especially if you know you're going to sweat a lot, go for a long run, whatever, honestly for any run, you want to make sure you have good socks. So I have these like ankle socks and they're really, really like thick and very like stretchy so they really conform to my feet. They're also like sweat wicking, like I swear when I wear these. I don't even notice that I sweat, so I really recommend getting a good pair of socks. For the summer, I only wear ankle socks. It is too hot, y'all. But I'm gonna put on all of my like running gear and everything that I take, and I'll show you guys real quick what I'm gonna wear, and then head out for the run. I wanna turn my phone off, but that's where all my friends are. What do I do? Why is it so hard to find someone new so far away? All the days that I used to have someone right beside me Now I can find in my phone screen It's tiring Just So this is my little running fit and get up of the day Really quick, so usually I would take this running belt with me to carry my phone, my keys, and all of that. But because these amazing leggings have pockets, I don't necessarily need this. So I'm actually going to leave it because it is so freaking hot outside. Like, I, <laughs> the less I wear it, the better. But my full fit is from Paragon. And then I have this visor from Adidas. I'm wearing my sports bra from Girlfriend Collective. I love them. They're a sustainable, ethical sportswear brand. And they're also, like, size included. So I highly recommend I'll make sure to link them down below and then these are the star of the show So I recently bought these new hokas. They were on sale They I think original price is like 150 or something and they were only for a hundred dollars It was an amazing deal. So I had to get them. These are the hoka arahi shoes. They're amazing they have good support. Honestly, it feels like I'm standing on a cloud right now. And honestly, they're a really good looking shoe. So I'm really excited to try these out today. Obviously, you have to break them in for a few runs. I don't think you should base like your overall comfort level on your running shoes from your first run or even your first couple of runs. But definitely, there shouldn't be any red flags of like really bad pain in your feet or anything. So I'll let you guys know how they feel during my run and all of that. And if I recommend them, I'm pretty sure I will because it's Hoka and I love Hoka for running shoes. They're just amazing. That's literally what they do. <laughs> but yeah, this is my fit. That is my gear. I'm obviously going to put on my headphones, throw on some music. I have a running playlist that I'm adding to and I'll try to link that down below. And yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous because it's, oh, it's 85 degrees. Okay, perfect. It's not too bad. Gonna head outside. I'll make sure to take some clips with my phone and wish me luck, y'all. I'm a little bit nervous. Can you tell? Okay, anyway, I just have to remind myself that no matter how fast or how slow I'm going on my run, I'm doing the damn thing. So, okay, let's get to it. Half a mile in, it's freaking hot. I definitely needed to stop to take a break, but we're gonna start back up once we get past this hill. I got past 
this hill, but jokes on me because there's another hill. I think today I'm gonna go for two miles, trying to run most of the time, so I need to get back onto it. But wish me luck. Wow, it's literally so beautiful on the other side. Literally and metaphorically. Oh my gosh, there's so many more hills on this run than I thought. With this heat, I'm definitely gonna take little 30 second breaks to catch my breath and then get started again. Cause otherwise, I really do think that'll hurt myself. Here we go again. Halfway point y'all, one mile down. Whew. It is not getting any easier. There's a long stretch of heat with no shade or little to no shade so I'm taking a minute to just calm my heart rate, catch my breath, so. Two miles done. Now I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way back. I'm feeling really proud of myself. friends happy monday so it's the next day i am gonna take an active rest day or at least a rest day because i did go for my longer run yesterday got dehydrated and it was pretty tiring also i'm really busy with work so i just don't really have time to go do like a full workout but i will say that anytime that i do like a longer run i always take the next day even two days to just rest and recover because I don't want to suffer another like overuse injury and I want to take the time to stretch. So I'll probably do some stretches tonight, maybe go for a walk if I have time. But I also wanted to show you guys real quick what I got. I ordered groceries from Amazon Fresh because work is just too busy right now. So I'm going to show you guys, do a little quick grocery haul before I get back to work. Okay, so this is my very quick grocery haul. So I have some roasted seaweed that I use for my ramen, some table water crackers that I'm gonna be using for like cheese and crackers, some white bread done right by Dave's Killer Bread, blueberry bagels for the morning with cream cheese or butter, some tostadas, which I'll honestly have with like salsa or with tuna. I got some egg whites because that just makes my eggs last longer because I'll just put like one to two eggs and then the rest egg whites to get some good protein in. Got these snacks. They're called balanced snacks. I haven't tried these before, but I like to eat little snacks like this with cheese and nuts. So I thought this would be really good to try. I got some spinach for my salads, bananas for my smoothies. I finally got some almond butter and this is a honey almond butter. I used to love having this in college. So I'm really, really excited for this. It just tastes so good. like with apples or bananas or in a smoothie. I don't usually get almond butter because David, my boyfriend, doesn't like almond butter and he eats here all the time, but it's fine because I will definitely be eating that. And then I got butter for my toast, cream cheese for my bagels. I got some salmon to make for dinner one of these nights and then cheese for cheese and crackers, gouda for sandwiches or grilled cheeses. This bread with this cheese makes really good grilled cheese sandwiches. And then I got some mini cucumbers, which I honestly usually slice 
these up into like small little circles with spinach and some grilled chicken which I actually need to make either tonight or tomorrow to like meal prep so that I can have that with my salad with baby spinach, mini cucumbers and the Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette from Trader Joe's. This is what I've been using for my salads and I am absolutely in love. Like I actually look forward to my salads so, so much. I also got some lemon pepper seasoning. I used to use this in high school all the time for my chicken, obviously with like salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder and all of that. But this just gives it like a little lemony flavor that I really, really like. So I think I'm gonna make this meal prep chicken lemon pepper chicken. So I needed to buy that because I didn't have any. Oh, and I also got a couple of avocados. You know, gotta have some avocado toast one of these days, or like for breakfast usually. This is my little grocery haul. I just wanted to share that with you guys because a few of you had been requesting that I do a little grocery haul on my channel. So I'm gonna put everything away and get back to work. It's seven o'clock, so I might go for a walk later tonight, and I might not, but we'll see. I might not see you guys until tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> 이제 그만 나를 용서해줘 앞으로도 잘할게 잘할게 라고 약속해 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 baby oh 나는 어제 내가 잘못한 걸 눈을 뜨고 드디어 깨달았네 baby when 넌 너만 보면 감히 자꾸 투정을 부리게 돼 friends it's been a couple of days good morning it's friday 7 a.m i woke up early today for once just so i could get some exercise in besides walking i've been walking the past few days like most of the days but i haven't really filmed that because the point of this vlog was really to share what i'm doing for my running journey and yeah that's really hard to do during my busy period as you can see and i'm sure a lot of you can relate ideally i would like to have like at least two run jogs some type of training during the week and then one longer run on the weekend again ideally but here we are <laughs> we're still gonna get it done regardless happy friday got my pre-workout from alani new Oof. i just brushed my teeth so this tastes kind of sour also don't mind <laughs> my morning voice but i'm gonna try to jog on the treadmill for like maybe 20 minutes today. I'm probably taking a couple of breaks because I haven't ran 20 minutes without stopping yet, which is totally fine. I don't wanna hurt my knees, so I'm just gonna be careful. And then I also need to make sure that I do 
at least one like strength workout per week during the week this week because i've been so busy with work i've honestly just been doing like 10 air squats like a few times a day just to like get something going down there i honestly think that's better than nothing if you're busy at work you can always take a little break you can just do some squats or some lunges and if you can't get a full workout in during the week then at least you're able to do that you know not been to the gym in the mornings in a long time but there's definitely a morning crew here so I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna do some dynamic stretching and I'm gonna try to do a run see how long I can go without stopping and then a strength workout I actually found on Pinterest which is like perfect so I think I'm gonna make like a workout board for good workouts to do for runners that I find so if you want to follow me on Pinterest make sure to do that what I look like after I run. I'm actually so proud of myself because I ran 20 minutes without stopping and that was my goal. So I got 1.62 miles done, which honestly surpassed my expectations. I thought I would maybe be able to run like 15 minutes without stopping, but mentally I just kept pushing. But that means I need to take it easy on the strength training. So I might not use weight, I might just do body weight. Gotta listen to my body, but I'm so happy. Almost eight and I need to finish up because I need to go upstairs and do some editing before I start work. y'all this freaking smoothie is the best it's amazing it tastes so good it's like so sweet and i know it's not actually high in sugar the only thing that really has a lot of carbs or sugar in it is the banana but that's like natural i don't even count that i'm really not monitoring it that deeply so don't come for me but I am trying to just be a little bit more mindful about making choices that maybe won't make me so lethargic during my workday or fatigued during my workday. But anyway, gonna get to work. Today's workout was good. I think next time if I want to do like a full strength workout, I'll only run like 10, maybe 15 minutes. So that way I don't use up all of my energy reserves so that I can actually do some strength workout. But it felt really good just to get my 20 minute run in and actually run the entire time even if it was a 14 minute pace i don't care because slow and steady wins the race and if you've ever been a runner you know how important it is to be able to get your cadence to increase that endurance and the amount of oxygen that your muscles can process and like receive i think it's like oxidation i'm not 100 percent sure i don't remember all of the science lingo but i do know that running and breathing and doing that kind of cardio workout is really really good for your heart and your body and your muscles and increasing that endurance is so much more important than increasing your speed especially in the beginning so i'm very very proud of myself 
happy Saturday. It's currently 10.30 in the morning. I'm having my pre-workout. So good morning. <laughs> I just wanted to check in because I'm about to go for a walk. I already finished some of my morning routine. Some of the things that I'm trying to incorporate into my mornings, which I shared in my recent vlog, The Morning in My Life. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check that out. One thing that I really want to do is just continue to have like slow mornings, mornings to myself and incorporate self-care so i did my morning devotional had my coffee it's actually where i had my coffee and now i want to get some movement in because it's the weekend i can have a more a lengthened morning to myself i do have to work overtime today and i do have to do a lot of editing so i need to make sure that i do something for myself first and since tomorrow is sunday fun day aka my long run day i don't want to get too tired like i want to make sure today i get a good workout but i want to make sure i don't wake up super sore tomorrow okay anyway with that said let's get to it finished with my 30 minute walk and now I'm gonna do like mainly body weight runners workout that I found on Pinterest it's pretty simple in the sense that you just kind of follow the circuit and you do it two times the thing with like training as a runner like strength training a lot of the workouts most runners focus on are like circuit training or incorporating a lot of body weight training not to say that runners don't lift they definitely do but i would say especially when you're starting out you don't want to start out with like really heavy weights or doing any kind of like power lifting like my main sport i want it to be running so i need to make sure that i'm strengthening in order to make my runs better and if i'm lifting to the point where i have a lot of delayed onset muscle soreness for like two to three days then that's actually going to make my runs worse because it's going to slow me down my runs are going to feel a lot harder so i have to take that into account like working out enough that i'm slowly building up strength in my muscles but i'm not like overdoing it to the point where it's going to impede my ability to increase my running if that makes sense so this is the workout like i said i'm just going to do this in my living room this is really good actually because there's like a couple of balance exercises and balance exercises are really good for runners okay enough enough with the chit chat let me just get through this workout i'm gonna get my playlist going i've been out of my head can't get out of bed too much on my brain but got it good can't complain it's like i'm losing my mind and time's hard to find what's a girl gotta do to care a break up when life tries to test me i take it one day at a time because i was crying yesterday but okay so i just finished the first set of the first circuit then it says to take about 30 second rest before you start the second circuit then once I complete that, I'll take 30 second rest and do the first circuit again, 30 second rest, second circuit again. And that'll be my whole workout. Okay, I'm about to start the second circuit. I'm definitely feeling it. Those balance exercises, y'all, they're no joke. Hey guys, oh my gosh, my hair right now. I don't know how some of y'all be staying looking cute during your workouts. I commend you. <laughs> that is not me. But anyway, I just finished my workout and as you can see, looking a hot mess. Actually, no, I still be looking cute, okay? It's all about confidence. I have my water because I really need to hydrate. Because I'm planning to run longer tomorrow, like my long run, 
the day before it's so important like it's always important to drink water but you if you guys have been following me you know that I struggle with this at least the day before a long run you should hydrate 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 like 24 hours before so I've been drinking water today I'm gonna be drinking a lot more water tonight sorry if you can hear David he's working out in the background but yeah I'm gonna hydrate 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 go shower and take on the rest of my day so I will check in with you guys at my next workout or actually tomorrow's run Happy Sunday. So it's the next day. I woke up actually more sore than I thought I would wake up, but here we are. We're still gonna go for the run. So my goal today is, I think it's 2.25 miles. No, it's 2.2 miles. So my goal every week to increase my mileage by 10% since I ran two miles last Sunday. Now I wanna run 2.2 miles today. It's still pretty hot outside, so I'm definitely going to like listen to my body and take little breaks if I need to, like last time. I did notice during the week I was able to run two miles on the treadmill. Well, not two miles, <laughs> 20 minutes on the treadmill, which was like 1.7 miles. Without stopping, that was pretty hard, but I was able to do it, which obviously if you're in AC, and have good ventilation and you're running on a treadmill it's a lot easier than running outside in the heat and with all the hills because there's actually quite a few little hills on the trail that I like to run on so we'll see how today goes but luckily I'm not really running for speed I'm just trying to gain endurance first and then maybe in a couple of like months I'll start working on my speed a little bit more but anyway I just wanted to check in <laughs> before my run before I look like a sweaty tomato I'm gonna have my allergy medicine because I get really bad allergies and my morning medication and head out because I already had coffee so I'm not gonna have pre-workout. Anyway, wish me luck. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Got done with my two mile run, 2.2 mile run. Very proud of myself. And then I also went to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul on my productive vlog slash Sunday reset that I'm also filming today. So make sure to check that out if you wanna see what I got from Trader Joe's. Love Trader Joe's, it's the best. And I'm feeling so freaking good about today's run. I ran 2.2 miles. I only stopped once at the halfway point, 20 seconds to like take a picture and then start running back and I'm so proud of myself because I maintained a good pace a good steady pace the whole time really worked on my breathing really worked on again just keeping like a consistent pace versus like speeding up and slowing down I'm really working on building up those skills again that I used to you know have when I was a long distance runner and also minding my knee injury and just being careful and listening to my body but thank god I haven't been feeling like any pain in my knee thus far into my running journey. I think I'm really taking it nice and steady and easy and I'm not like trying to run three miles my first week like I used to do. And I will also say that muscle memory is such a real thing. I wouldn't advise like if you don't have a history with long distance running and you you haven't ran for more than four months, I would not advise that you start your first week with two miles. That's what I did, but I feel like muscle memory really, really helps. So even though I'm like out of shape now and even though it's been kind of a long time it's crazy it's like even on this second week I felt so much stronger and I think that that'll be true for anyone my first time that I ever started running I think was in middle school I think my first long run was half a mile then in a couple weeks I increased it to 0.75 then in a week I increased it to one mile then 1.25 I just went up 0.25 every week until I got to the point where I could run three miles without a problem then five miles and seven miles and then 
Again, I was a long distance runner for a few years of my life, like six to seven years of my life until I got my knee injury. So because of that, I don't want you guys to think that you should do what I'm doing. Definitely listen to your body, talk to your doctor, talk to a professional. You know, I don't know your health needs and I'm not like trying to prescribe to you guys what you should do, but hopefully this vlog just like inspired you guys and made you guys want to go out and run and try something new. Take baby steps towards your health and wellness goals instead of feeling like you have to be super fit overnight because it's a process and learning to enjoy the journey is so much more fulfilling than just working your butt off to get to your ideal body or your ideal shape or whatever it might be that your goal is if you're always like waiting to get to a point where you think you'll feel happier you're never gonna feel happy at least that was my experience but if you learn to love and accept your body as you are and just want to take care of your body and just want to feel good in your body and like be willing to take baby steps just enjoy the journey and it'll be so much more worth it and more fulfilling anyway that's my little chat slash rant rant of the day i just wanted to have a quick little check-in with you guys and leave you with some of my final thoughts but with all of that said thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this vlog and if you want to see more vlogs like this please make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you want to see more videos like this like running vlogs health and wellness vlogs and also leave a comment let me know you know what are your goals with your running journey your health and wellness journey or let me know what you want to see more of in my future running vlogs if i don't see you in the comment section then i hope to see you in the next video bye